and then put it on here. Why am I acting so stupid today? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's really early in the morning and I'm so super excited because today I'm gonna to get my hair cut. I just hate the cut I have right now. It's disgusting. The only long part of my hair is at the back and I just don't like it. I think it looks weird. I'm thinking to do like a bob like up to my chin. We'll see if I chicken out or not. And I'm also extra excited because I have finally bought like a vlogging camera. I'm using the ZV-1. I'm hoping the quality looks good. You guys tell me what you think about this camera. So I'm mobile now. I can like move about and actually try and like do some more vloggy stuff. So yeah, let me just be on my merry way. It's like about 8 a.m. and that's obviously rush hour. So the traffic is ridiculous and I'm gonna be late. Just washed my hair and blow dried it. Lima was like, telling me about my split ends. Yes. <laughs> yeah, my split ends um, are not crazy, she said, but they, I do have that you can see. And also, the layers are disgusting. But I trust Lima, Lima's amazing, so she's gonna like, make it look really nice now. So, this is just horrible. I hate this so much. Short, long, uh -huh. long, thick, but it does have to go. So. And I'm not even like scared or anything. Normally yeah. I'm like, oh my god, cut my hair. Oh, no. But because it looks so ugly, I'm like, just, <laughs> just get it gone. Okay. Just okay. And healthy. Am I the worst vlogger in the world or what? So I went to my hair appointment and I completely forgot to change my memory card. So my memory card was full and I couldn't delete anything because it was hidden and I needed a computer to take it off. Long story short, actually, I couldn't record the rest of that session, which is really annoying because, yeah, I wanted you guys to see the process of me getting my hair cut. I'm gonna show you my hair now, what my hair looks like. And here we are. I'm literally obsessed with it. I love it so much. It actually looked nicer yesterday because she had like, she'd done like some little like flick things in it. But it's just gone straight now, it's completely dead straight. Yes, I love it, I love it so much. To the point I think I might actually just keep it this length. Like forget growing it for a little bit and just leave it this length. Yeah, when I'm ready, then I'll start growing it out. But here, finished results. Today I'm actually getting ready to go out. I've got a few events I'm gonna go to. So I thought, let me just do like a little get ready with me, why not? My face, as you can see, is kind of like, kind of very shiny. And basically before I like to put makeup on, I like to start with a very like dewy base. Let me get what I'm using. Uh, this Korean beauty skin products, it's called Advanced Snail Mucin. Everyone's like talking about it, everyone's using it. Yeah, I just thought let me jump on the bandwagon and so far so good. It definitely does hydrate your skin a lot. So yeah, I'm liking it so far. And then let me just get into the actual makeup and I'll do like a little uh, makeup routine with you guys. Cause some of you have asked for me to show you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hate how messy, my room's not even messy, just boxes, boxes. And it's kind of annoying the aesthetic right now. It's all gonna be sorted by next week and it will be away from this room. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is, of course, hydration. Make sure your skin is really hydrated first. It just makes your skin look better after you put the makeup on. And then I'm using this e.l.f. primer. And this is just to like basically make your pores look a little bit more flawless, that kind of vibe. I don't know what's going on with my skin recently because I don't touch wood normally get spots but recently like my skin is ridiculously bad and I don't really understand it because it's not even just on my face anymore it's now like I'm getting spots on my body too it's strange and I want it to end now so I don't think it's sore like this kind of removed all that shine this primer and then it also fills in your pores so your skin is a little bit more smooth I like to use this foundation. It's Born This Way by Too Faced. But these days, I've actually really been enjoying like a more natural look, a more like my skin look. So I used this Glossier Perfect Skin Tint. This is what I normally use just like on a regular day. But because I'm going out today and I want to look a little bit more like I put effort in, what I do is I just use a bit of both. This is not a foundation, it's like a skin tint. So it's very, there's barely any coverage on it and it's kind of watery. So I know it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but it's, it's honestly nothing. So then for some coverage, I just put like a couple dots of this. Literally dot, dot, dot. Not too much, relax. So literally dot, dot, dot. That's all. 
This is the game changer to my makeup. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And what I've started doing is like spraying it in between each step. My makeup does not move. Like even if you wore like a face mask, my makeup doesn't transfer. That's how like deep this thing is. So when my hair is straight, I like to be a bit more careful because I don't want to get on my edges. Okay, edges are covered. And then I just get this fluffy brush from Sephora. Then for concealer, again, if I want like a more natural look, I use Glossier in shade, I think it's three, G4, G4. Um, and then again, that's what I would do on a regular day, but because I'm going out, I'll use this and then a tad of something a bit stronger, which is this. I actually need to be quick because I feel like you guys can even finish your sentence for me now. <laughs> I literally say the same thing every single time I'm on here. I'm running late. So this is, again, by Too Faced, and it's in the shade Caramel. Yep, perfect. I spray at every stage. And this time, I allow the spray to dry completely, and that just basically fixates the concealer where it is, and then you get like a much better coverage without, again, having to use too much. I need to be so quick. I'm so late. Okay. Next step, next step, next step. She's rushing now, she's rushing. Okay, it's my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm running late. That is really my strap line. I'm running late, that's all I ever say. Technically, it's actually not my fault. This whole doing a nine to five job and then trying to do content is actually not working for me. Obviously, I want to do this full time, but it's just very hard to even get to that point if you can never find the time to make content. So it's like, a catch-22 situation for me where I would love to spend all my time doing this but I can't and the only way for me to be able to do that is to keep making content so I can get bigger but because I have no time I can't but I will find a way next is the contour now best contour ever this is what I love this is what I use now Fenty Beauty contour stick or match stick in shade espresso I just like to get a little bit on this brush this is a real techniques brush and then just basically put it in your contour areas and then just blend that out. I'm just using any random cheap brow pencil. Although this is the one I'm using, I don't recommend it. I literally just line the top, line the bottom, and then do some strokes in the front. Then I get the brush that comes with it and just brush it up. Okay, I've just put some concealer under my eyes just to neaten that up. What I find annoying when I'm late. Okay, granted, I'm late. Okay, this is what I'm using, Glossier. If you're calling me every five minutes, how do you think that's gonna make me get ready any faster? It just makes it me even slower because now I need to keep stopping what I'm doing to go and get the phone. I'm late, I've said I'm late. Let me get ready. That phone is still ringing, it's actually annoying. What does it do? It doesn't help the situation. So this Glossier Cloud Paint, love it is an orange and i think it's so nice on black skin a highlighter i'm just using this really old one from revolution there's no point even telling you where it's from because they do not sell it anymore and it's not that amazing eyeshadow very basic i'm using the patricia bright by revolution i'm going to take the shade brown sugar mixed with 100 cocoa put that all over my eyelid I just did that in the wrong order, by the way. See, I'm Russian. Normally, I would get this orange colour. Try me. Put that in the crease up here first. And that's it. I use this eyeshadow ever. I'm hoping I'm not going to make myself look crazy the way I'm Russian. I'm kind of flawless, even though I'm Russian. Okay, so that's actually my face done. I don't do anything else. It's just the lips now. That's makeup look done. I need to go. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I always in a rush? Next, I'm just gonna put eyeliner, mascara. I have to do it off camera, um, but that's all. Hello guys, it's another day. I've really been neglecting this hair already. I don't know why I'm behaving like this, but I'm just kind of just like not even really been wrapping it properly. And so it kind of just looks like kind of dead. I can't lie right now. The exciting news is I'm going out again today. <laughs> and I'm gonna refresh my hair a little bit and like put some curls in and make it look a little bit more exciting. And guess what I'm gonna use to do that? I'm gonna be using the new Dyson Corral straightener. Dyson actually gifted me this straightener and I'm still like kind of shook about it. I'm just so happy because I've, you guys know, I've been wanting Dyson to like send me something. I mean, come on, I love their brand so much. 
I'm always using their Supersonic, I'm always promoting it. So I'm really excited that they did send me this Corral and I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I've already kind of opened the box. They did have like a nice little sleeve thing around it. It, had, it was really nicely wrapped. It comes in a little gift bag too, which is really cool. I'm going to just start by seeing what else is in the box. This plastic thing, I think this is the stand. This is the charging dock. This is actually a wireless straightener, which is really cool, but also I'm like a bit skeptical about the fact it has no wires because I don't want to have to keep charging. Like for example, I want to use this thing right now and I can't because it's dead. And that's just annoying. Like I kind of want to just be able to use my straightener whenever I want to. This little box is just the adapter. So that's it, I just got the adapter, this dock. I believe this is a stand. Yes. So this stand clips into the dock. Oh, okay, that's good. Alexa, shh, stop. Okay, so that's actually good. It says you can use it corded or cordless. So I guess, yeah, there's no issue here. Uh, I think this goes in like that, no. Am I being dumb here? I don't know how this works. Like this, there you go. Wait, is it? No, I'm definitely being dumb. No, that's right. It just doesn't seem to be fitting in. <gasps> I'm not it. Ta-da! And then your straightener, let me get that out. It's gorgeous. It's actually gorgeous. So this is what the straightener looks like. It has copper plates that apparently like they're flexible, so they flex around your hair, meaning that you can use less heat and they're meant to be a lot healthier for your hair. So this is it in this lock state. And you can also look flip this little thing and then it opens up. I think I could do like a proper dedicated video using this like when my hair is actually curly and then we can see how easy it gets straight. That's it, I've plugged it in now and then put it on here. Why am I acting so stupid today? <laughs> the socket is off. I'm there thinking the thing's broken. There you go. A nice little sound to make you know that you're charging it. But again, like they said, I believe you can also use it corded. So with that, plug it into there, plug it directly into here. And then you can just do it whilst it's corded. I've just come out of the shower. I'm sure you guys could notice already. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But my skin has been so bad like the past few weeks. So normally like I stay away from like all the acids and all of that because I have sensitive skin. I just normally use all natural products and it's failing me recently. So today, I literally ran to Boots and I just started to pick up like, I don't know things, like, I don't even, my skin is so dry and tight as well. And then I have spots everywhere. It's just a new, oh, the spot's even popped. Come and see, the spot's even popped. Got this Hydra Phase. The review said it's good. It says 72 hours intense moisture, replumped with radiant skin. That is what I need. It says it's for dull, dehydrated skin. And that's exactly how my skin feels right now. And this is a serum. It's pure niacinamide. Did I pronounce that right? I think so. For the dark marks on my skin, that will hopefully get rid of it. Um, this one is called Pigment Clar. This one's for your under eyes. Because my under eyes, I feel like my under eyes look really dark right now. Anyways, just these three measly products cost me 75 pounds. I feel like I can't even just walk. I can't even just live my life without spending at least a hundred pounds a day. And then I also, you guys might have seen the other day, I bought the Snell Mucin. Snell Mucin, and this is a Ren Glow Tonic. I'm not used to using anything like this. This is an AHA. I'm not used to using this stuff on my skin because I just feel like my skin's really sensitive. And that's why I went with the La Roche Posay stuff because this is meant to be good for sensitive skin. As is Ren. Ren, again, is meant for like sensitive skin. Let's just give it a try. Let me put this stuff on now, actually. Lovely. It has a metal top, which is really cool. This is a nice little packaging. I like this. Okay, this is what my skin is looking like right now. It's got a very nice little glow to it. Let's just see. After like a week of using all this stuff, if my skin fixes up because do, 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 no. No, I'm not here for it. I'm gonna go do my makeup like I said I was going to. I don't know why I came and started doing skincare routine. And then can move into trying out my new Dyson. <sighs> surprise, surprise, I'm late. So the idea I wanted to do, which is like 
big, like nice, like swoopy curls. I don't have the time for it. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna just try and recreate what she did, like my hairdresser, which was just basically like curving it in and adding a bit of body. So let me just start off by getting some heat protector. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Olaplex bonding oil. So this is like a styling, like finishing oil, but it's also got like heat protectant in it. I'm so excited to try this tool. So, so, so excited. But it's just not going to be the same because my hair is obviously already straight. So I'm not going to get the real full experience on how it works and how good it is. Because obviously there's not much work for it to do right now. It's so short now the back. Do you know what I'm really intrigued about? I'm so intrigued about when I wash my hair. Because obviously my hair is like now quite short at the back. So it'll be very intriguing to see like how short my afro is now. It may still be the same actually because she didn't really cut the front. It was just more the back. Then I'm gonna press this on button. Please do not watch my nails. They are so overgrown, it's embarrassing. I've just been struggling to get a nail appointment again. What's going on? Like, Why is everyone trying to get their nails done at the same time? Now, this thing, I don't understand it. I'm pressing the on button. The battery comes up to show it's been charged and then it goes into a flight and then it goes off. Okay, I see, I see the issue. I just don't know how to turn it off. So you can see there's an arrow pointer to the flight and then home. I need to somehow get this to point here and I don't know how. Ah, all right. So if you see on this little pink thing, there's like um, an eye that says turn it around. So right now it's facing the orange side, which is the flight side. If I turn it around and then plug it in, now it's on the green side. Okay, so hopefully it should now work. Let's see. Yay, perfect. Gosh, my nails. I don't want my nails this close to the screen. Oh, they're making me sick different temperatures um okay so let's go let me just start off by no did i put that heat protector in no girl one two three that should be enough for my whole head mainly focusing on the ends i love how thick my hair is now that it's cut and short just get like a little section not too little because your girl's late of course she's late this time it's actually not my fault so i'm going out and I was not told in advance what time we were meeting. So in my opinion, if you tell me to come out and you don't give me a time, I'm not going anywhere. So I had no intention of going. I was literally just minding my business, enjoying my day. Then I got the message to say what time. So it's just, it's not really my fault. I'm just gonna go and bend it in. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, lovely. Do you know what I like? It's looking like I only need to do one pass which is great, very similar to my steam pod. No, that's really good. It kind of glides on my hair, if that makes sense. It's very glidey. Yes, I love it. I'm so excited to try it properly, like with my actual like curly hair and see how many passes I need to do and all of that. The good thing about this being cordless, it makes it so easy to do curls. Well, that's that. Gorgeous, I love it. So now I just need to do my edges and all of that. Um, I'm gonna try and get close to my root here because this actually needs to be straight to me. Let's see how close I can get. Very close is the answer. Very close. That's the one thing you guys know I don't like about my steam pod. I can't get close to my root. It feels a little bit pinchy on there. It feels like it doesn't glide as much up here. It's a bit pinchy. So that's how much battery I have left. And I barely, it's probably been like 10 minutes. So that's kind of going down quite fast. So that's that. My hair looks nice. It's got a bit more body to it because I bent the ends in. Do my edges, find a cute outfit. Okay, I've just quickly done my edges. Okay, 
okay there's not really much else to discuss just really setting my edges and i think i'm gonna call this a day um for this video purely because i feel like i've done so much although it's only been two days or three days i've done a whole cover of me to the salon i've done a whole makeup tutorial and now i've just done this whole unboxing of my <laughs> dyson corral and using it so i think we can wrap this one up um i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy the fact i'm doing a bit more like vloggy stuff and i'm like hopefully <laughs> gonna be more consistent and if you'd like this give me a thumbs up tell me what you think guys and i shall see you all in my next video bye